We are moving right along through Galatians. As I share with you, just gems and precious little uh, jewels from my quiet time. And we're in Galatians 3 today for you to give you something to reflect on. Galatians 3, uh, verse 2 and 3 says, This is the only thing I want to find out from you. Did you receive the Spirit by the works of the law or by hearing with faith? Are you so foolish, having begun by the Spirit? Are you now being perfected by the flesh? What he is saying here is, were you saved by faith, by believing, and through the Holy Spirit coming in and giving you a new life? And now that you're living and walking with God, are you, are you going back to the old ways of trying to keep the law, trying to keep, trying to be good enough? Um, is that what your walk looks like? Uh, that it, you'll never be able to do that. Oh, people do that all over the place. There's Christians that believe for their salvation, but they do not believe um, and walk by faith in their sanctification. They don't trust God in the day-by-day, moment-by-moment walking, Him inside them and them obeying. Uh, yesterday we talked about Galatians 2.20. And... Um, and that really describes um, how how to walk with them. Um, Galatians two twenty be, being crucified with Christ, yet you li you're still living. Um, but Christ lives in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself up for me. So I think it's really important that he, right after that he says, "Well, did you receive the Spirit? Did you get saved by um, by the?" by the works of the law or by hearing with faith. Um, let, let the Spirit perfect you. You can't do it in the flesh and you can't do it on your own. You'll get so tired of it, you'll burn out. There's no way, it's impossible. That's my word for you today. That's what I found and that's, that's, um, that's what I chewed on when I read this. And it, it reminded me to go back to Him.